Well, good Monday morning, everybody. Hi, it's Phil King Ken. I'm here for the Telegraph with our favorite meteorologist, Al Caprillion. And he's going to give us a heads up on what I'm hoping is going to be a really nice week, Al. What's it look like? Well, Phil, we have an upper-level disturbance approaching the Ohio Valley today. And again, with high pressure blocked in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we have a blocking pattern. Any rain today could be over parts of uh, western Hartford County, Connecticut, possibly the Connecticut River Valley and the east slopes of Berkshire. It's going to have a few rain showers before the day is over. But other than that, it looks like New England will be mainly dry today. We'll have a lot of high cloudiness so the sun will not be as bright as it was over the weekend. We'll have a lot of dim sun today. Temperatures could still make a run 60s to 70, a few isolated low 70s. But with the high cloudiness, we may be capped around 65 to 70 today. For tonight, some high clouds will continue. Temperatures will be in the middle to upper 30s. A few low, uh, mid-level clouds tonight as well in some areas. For tomorrow, the high cloudiness, mid-level cloudiness should start to break up. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds, but the sun will get brighter as the day wears on. Tomorrow's that short wave of disturbance moves to our east. Highs tomorrow, upper 60s, low 70s. It will be much cooler today and tomorrow and all week along the coast. 50s to low 60s with the wind off the chilly ocean. Wednesday, mostly sunny, upper 60s, low 70s. Inland, cooler at the coast. Thursday, we could see middle 70s with lots of sun fill, and then a backdoor cold front will come down from Maine. We may, it may cool us off Friday to the middle and lower 60s before the day is over, and then we should warm back up over the weekend. So this dry weather pattern is going to continue for all week, possibly. We'll have more on this Friday morning. It could last for the weekend, but we have high pollen count this week with the no rain to cleanse the atmosphere. And also watch out. The fine fuels will dry the fire danger, even though winds aren't going to be too strong this week. Uh, again, the, the fire weather potential risks will increase as we progress through the week into next week and without any rain. So just be careful with any lighting materials if you're working outside. I guess we should feel lucky. There's a lot of areas of the country that are getting pounded with some really nasty weather. Right, and we have saw the flooding in the parts of Illinois and out in the Midwest, and you know that's how it, it is. One area can be real dry, another area can be real wet. But again, we have to be careful with the uh, the fire weather potential, which the risks will increase as we get into the upcoming weeks. So brush fires can stop pretty quick because the ground is going to be very dry. Even though we had all that snow, it doesn't take long for it to dry up. That's right. It's all that growth that's left over from the fall. That's and, right. Uh, yeah. So just be careful. Well, we'll have to watch out for brush fires this week. Other than that, the weather looks pretty nice. We're in a dry weather pattern for a while, Phil. That sounds great, Al. Have yourself a great week, and we'll talk to you on Friday to take a look at what's going to be happening this weekend. That's right. Have a great week, Phil, and everyone.